At 10 to 9, a great pleasure to welcome to Nightline someone, as I say, that I've uh, sat and talked with on uh, a committee of, for many years, and uh, I knew that he was involved in photography, had a passion for it. He has just released a magnificent collection. In fact, I've had to fight Katie off my, ver my uh, copy of it. It's called Moments in the Light, a photographic journey, and his name is Steve Fraser. Steve, welcome to Nightline. Hi, Graham. How are you? Doing well, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a fantastic book. It's a, Well, the, the photographs that are in the book, first of all, a two-year journey around the world, really. Pretty much so. Yeah, I've managed to uh, get the joy of travelling to lots of lovely locations. Uh, it's a uh, tough job, but someone's got to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, one of the things, for example, Katie and I were just talking about the shot you have in here of the Eiffel Tower. How did you get it? Um, it was one of those shots, um, Graham. I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was good luck or good fortune, but there's a beautiful little carousel, and I was kind of looking once to get a bit of a different angle on, on the Eiffel Tower, and mm. I, I spotted it in the corner of my eye, and just before I was about to pack up, I went down there, and um, they stopped the carousel just for about 30 or 40 seconds, and that's about how long that shot is. So um, it worked out really nice. And no people. No, no, just, just, I think I was ushering a few of them away, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, excuse me, please, just one moment, just, do you yeah, mind? Exactly, just for 30 seconds. And the, the, uh, now you also talk about the fact that uh, in the, in your, uh, you have an introduction from well known photographer Ken Duncan, but in your own introduction to the book, you choose to begin that at uh, a pre dawn start. There'd be a few of those, I guess. Ken, uh, yeah, there is, uh, Graham, a lot of, um, I think, 4 a.m. starts in there, so mm. um, hopefully as people flick through it, they don't uh, look at it at that time in the morning, but yeah, you've got to, uh, unfortunately, being a landscape photographer, the best time of the day is generally first thing in the morning, because the nice thing is there's not so many people around, um, and obviously when the sun goes down, so you get that wonderful light, but you've got to get up early and travel to some of those places, but it's well and truly worth it when you get there. This is not just a, a set of, I mean, the book is a journey, though. It's not just a set of stunning images, and they are that. Uh, it's, it's as much about the journey or what the images have said to you? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think that was part of it, Graham, is looking at, you know, images that I, I really loved and, and, and admired the locations, but also then, you know, what sort of qualities do they talk to you about? And, you know, so things like, you know, passion or adventure, or um, probably an important one is peace, because, you know, a lot of those spots are very tranquil, beautiful spots that you get to go to, and you just get to stand there and stop for a few hours, which is something pretty rare we don't get to do very much of. Some of the sections of the book, passion, dreams, excellence, perspective, integrity, hope, uh, vision. In terms of integrity, what, ha, tell us about that section. What sort of visions, what sort of uh, uh, vision, I mean, as in vision, I mean, what sort of images do you yeah, put in integrity? So there's, there's an image in there that probably typifies it, um, and it's in the Italian uh, northern coast. It's the part of the Cinque Terre, which is that famous mm. five villages. So I've, mm. I've walked all five of them. It's a, it's a fantastic day or two out. Um, and there's one called Manarola. And it's got a big storm rolling in there, really ominous sort of sky. Yes, yes. That, that village was built in about 800 uh, AD and then rebuilt about 1300, painted those beautiful, vibrant covers. And um, you look at that and go, that's just stood the test of time, storm after storm after storm, and it's still standing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years later. So, yeah, good, a good measure of integrity, isn't it, that things happen and you just keep standing? Indeed, and the Eileen Donan Castle in Scotland. Scotland. Tell us about that. Why that? Yeah, um, it's a really iconic spot. Um, there's a wonderful sign. It's, uh, the castle is owned by the Macrae clan, but there's a wonderful sign above the door that says, while well, uh, Macrae's in residence, a phrase is always welcome. So I thought, <laughs> I, I, better take a, I thought I'd better take a photo of that. But can I tell you, that, that photograph, Graham, was one of the coldest spots. I've just come back from shooting in the glaciers in some ice caves in New Zealand and um, compared with far north Scotland it is like being on a beach. <laughs> now you've got because your next book's already in production. I'm um, I'm working away at it mm. yeah so I've got a whole bunch of shots for that and got a few um, really terrific trips coming up to get some more for that so yeah we're Keep going and book number two on the way. Well, the images are stunning, but obviously you, you certainly want it to be... Well, I guess I should ask as a question. If, if the book works as you're trusting that it will, what will happen for people apart from enjoying the images and the moments they capture? 
I think the wonderful thing that landscapes do is that they they do bring that sense of peace. So I think we live in this world that's you know we're we're bombarded with you know as you know emails and phone calls and text messages and everybody trying to get hold of you, never giving you much space in your life. You know kids and sport and all those things that happen. So I think you know I get the the luxury of getting out to these places. Not everyone gets that. So I suppose for people who read the book. If they get to glance at some of those and, you know, take a breath and enjoy just a, a moment in their day to, to kind of rest and enjoy that, then then I'd say the, the book's been a good success. That's fantastic. Steve, now where do people get it? All um, good Graham, bookstores? From, yeah, from any of the, the good bookstores. A mm -hmm. um, couple of the dodgy ones? <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a couple that are on... Uh, Thin ice, I think, at the moment. <laughs> yeah, more so. day, exactly, as a bookstore. But also, mate, you do have a website. I do. So um, they can order direct at um, the website. And if there's a, I mean, I happen to have a young man uh, who's a, a mutual acquaintance of ours uh, living in the United States. Who, so if you want, if people wanted to order one to be sent overseas, can you do that through the website? Yeah, we can take care of that for them. Yep. Fantastic, mate. And the website is is www.stevefraser.co. So, that's fantastic. www.steves, S-T-E-V-E, -E, yep. stevefraser.co. It's a beautiful piece of work, Steve. Congratulations. Hey, thank you, Graham, And congratulations on 30 years. Yeah, I haven't about spoken that, uh, to you. That's it. That's a, that's a milestone achievement. Just keep working quietly at night. They forget you here, Steve. That's Steve Fraser. Can I say, folks, it's one of the finest books of uh, photography I've seen. I certainly want to get one, send it to my son in America. Uh, he, he happens to know Steve, actually, but it's a fine, fine piece of work.